Hey everybody, Scab Gaming here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today I am playing on the center map. Now we've spent all weekend trying to get set up on the center map and just basically get a little bit of a head start so we can get stuck into the meat and veg. <laughs> now I'm standing outside our new build. Now this is um, a build that Shira has spent all weekend lovingly building up from nothing, and I think it's pretty bloody fantastic. And here is our little armies of Dilos, which <laughs> are just here, basically just to protect us in case something bad happens. Ooh, eggs. Eggs everywhere. Give me egg. Give me your eggs. Give me your eggs. Give me your eggs. No. Oh, it's so difficult to pick up the eggs. The struggle's real. There it is. Right, so there are our Dilos. We have a couple of Lystrosaurs just to keep the Dilos topped up on XP. There we go. And I will show you, once I get these activated, we have Trebor. Now he's our fibre collector. Now these guys collect so much fibre, it's insane. Honestly, we let him roam around for about 10 minutes and he came back with like a thousand, couple of thousand bits of fibre. So get yourself some of these guys if you need fibre. And here's our trike, Super Trike. <laughs> I didn't name that. Super Trike, he's our level 150 trike. And he's what we use just for getting stuff around. Now, we are situated, if I open up my little map, we are situated on the very left. No, we're on the right side, sorry. On the Northern Island. So we're not on the Burnt Island at the very top, don't be silly. We're on the very right-hand side on the Northern Island. So it's right in the middle of the map on the right. And, um, you know, it's a pretty good place, actually, so far. We found pretty much everything we need except for oil which we had oil in we had problems with oil in the island as well it's and you know the center is no different oil is not easy to find but we built ourselves underneath this archway and i will show you the house first and then i'll take a flight around and show you what the island looks like so it's this house is clearly based on some sort of western inn or saloon <laughs> the only thing we're missing is some cool girls hanging off the balcony, you know, tempting us in. So when we go in, you'll see that the first floor is green. Now you need we needed to colour code our floors just because it kind of makes it easier to know where you are in the house and where to get off of the ramp. And I'll show you that in a second. We got uh, Cheesy Feet Pete and Gemma in the front room here. We're breeding dodos for some reason. Look, got another egg. I'll, check that. I'll, I'll grab that and put it in the eggs box. Just in case. Might as well keep hold of them. So many Dilo eggs as well. Dilo egg, Dodo egg. They're everywhere. Right, so this is our main room. This is where we do all of our storage. We've got the preserving bins in the corner there and something to cook food in. If we go up to here, you can see that if you want to get off at purple, you can see the purple lines. You get off at purple. Now this is our construction room. So this is where we have our mortar and pestle. Bobby and awesome monkey over there. Again, didn't name them. Uh, <laughs> we got our storage bin for our gold. A couple of forges. A smithy. And underneath here, this is where our fabricator is going to go. And probably our generator is going to go over here so that we can power lights in and around the area. But we haven't been able to make a generator yet. So we're not that level. Now up here, this is our sleeping room. So this is where Blake is currently sleeping. And of course, she is sleeping underneath the bed over here. Well, it looks like the bed fell on her head, actually, but there you go. Now, our new tribe is called T-Flex. And if I, if I look at him, you can see T-Flex. Like T-Rex, but T-Flex. Massive muscles. That sort of thing, anyway. So, up here, this is our little breeding area that Blake's been kindly trying to raise a dodo. That's why we have a feeding trough here, which actually extends quite a way out. And it allows the animals outside to feed off as well. So that's quite cool. We should probably chuck some meat in there, just make sure everyone's happy. Now, up to the next floor. Now, the next floor is our fourth floor, our final floor, and this is our landing pad. So we've got the big helicopter pad up here. And this is where we keep our pterosaurs. None of us are RG level yet. So as you can see, hang on, wrong button. As you can see, I am currently level 43. So we managed that in just over a day. So that's not bad going. We've got three times XP multipliers, so yes, we do have help. But we had three times on the last um, island as well. It's just with she doing so much construction for the building, we all leveled massively quickly. Um, we're also having to fight off level 150s. Uh, 
we <laughs> we got battered by level 90 raptor a uh, level 80 raptor we had trouble with a scorpion when we first got here we've had issues so we're leveling up quickly because we've had to fend off some pretty big beasties this is ventro this is my bird and flappy dave is mc blakey's we haven't yet found one for she-ra but that's because we're not settling for anything lower than about level 70 or level 90 something around those lines since we're playing on the hardest difficulty and there are level 150s around we don't want birds that can be one-shotted now i think that's pretty smart so that's the basic lay of the land we've got a couple of doors and you'll forgive me if i didn't show you the massive construction effort there w it would have taken a really long time to show you guys the whole construction and everything so i just didn't bother i thought the best thing to do get a slight head start at least sort of halfway to where we were on the other island and i think that's pretty much where we are now like i say we have a smithy we can make fabricators but unfortunately we can't find oil and um you know we don't yet have a dinosaur army just just the dilos a couple of those are pretty high level we've got 133 we've got a 190 68 you know 98 stuff like that so yeah, they're gonna they're gonna fend off a raptor or two if need be and of course we got a level 150 super trike but unfortunately there are no other high level pterosaurs around i need to keep an eye out because i want to grab one as soon as i can for she and that way we can get around at the moment we're kind of restricted to where we are now i want to show you guys the area i need to put a ladder on the outside to get up to the roof really i might put she on that next time next time she's on so i grab ventro i just want to make sure that he's got some meat on him yeah he's got some meat that's all right now I go for a quick flight like I say we're on the the small starter island oh by the way I'm probably going to try and tame this guy because he's a a capped out female bronto he's in a really weird place though she sorry is in a really weird place so we're gonna have to somehow tame that I think it'll be all right I think she'll be able to sw swim to shore from there and a level 150 would be super so I might do a video for that one so we're situated underneath this big overhang um in hindsight it probably wasn't a fantastic place to be i don't know i mean anywhere around here we're going to have cliffs above us but things being able to drop off the overhang is probably a bad thing i mean if if a big old wreck dropped off there we'd be in trouble so they don't die from full damage but either way that's where we've built it there's another archway around the right side of the island um and up here let me let me zoom out a bit because the head gets in the way up here we have a copious amount of metal which is an absolute godsend actually so we've got metal up here and we also have crystal is that crystal no it's a dodo fair enough Ooh, gigantopithecus what level is he because we had to settle for a level 15. where has he gone hang on he was there a minute ago where are you am i not looking far enough ahead <laughs> Is he? He's done a runner. Oh, he's like right in front of me. Well, Mr. Gigantopithecus. Oh, there you are. 20. Terrible. Right, so that's not going to help. Anyway, as I was saying, there is crystal up here. There's a fair amount of it, actually. I'm not going to be able to find any now. But I found plenty yesterday. So we're able to make stuff with crystal, which is a really good thing. Like I say, plenty of metal. So we're not short on resources up to oil and oil is what we really need here look we've got crystal up here and actually there's a fair few pockets of crystal here look so we're not worried about the crystal we're not worried about metal all of that's pretty easy to come by now that we have birds especially we can just pop up and get it whenever we want the bit that we're genuinely concerned about is oil and of course we will find some but um usually on the last map we'd have been getting our oil from trilobites and so far we haven't seen a single one now i'm guessing that's because trilobites tend to spawn in shallows around coral and this island doesn't really have any shallows and it certainly doesn't have any coral so we're kind of missing out in that sense which is not fantastic I have to admit a little bit worried about the whole oil situation um we've gone ahead and built an absolutely epic house so we're not in the the market for a new house right now we've literally just got it 
so yeah I'm a little bit worried about the oil situation but that will change I'm sure once we found a source we'll be all right now just over the way from our island is half-baked island this place look there's a quet already we're doing all right level five so yeah just over the way from us is half-baked island now this place is an absolute carnival fest look at it I mean this is just on the shoreline we have carnotaurs everywhere argies saber-tooths scorps we got everything over here so you know in one way it's good because we know we've got a really close by source of argentivis so later on we can get some good tames going um other than that it's probably not fantastic i mean we we would like a, a nearby island with loads of resource that we could get to and not get eaten straight away but like i say when things are level 150 you tend to stay away from them now i'm wondering if some of these little islands i haven't been over to these little islands yet we've been in this cove i'm wondering if some of these little islands are going to have trilobites on but so far i'm not seeing anything that would suggest that let's land up here these are like little herbivore islands it doesn't look like there's any any carnivals here that's kind of cool oh there's some compies they'll they'll serve as as an annoyance but other than that it's not too bad it looks like just um like easily hoppable islands you can just hop from one to another there's some dilos on this one. Oh, and some coal and some trilobites aha there's a fair few trilobites here actually this looks like this is set up as a shallow that's good that means that we we can find our oil if we absolutely need to we can get get in the water here and get some trilobites so that's good that's kind of one problem solved there's a bronto wow how do you get out here who's attacking what oh dilos again yeah so just near to us obviously we've got these tiny little pocket of islands which like i say will, will provide some oil if we're lucky but the island itself is fairly small it's not featureless it's just fairly small we have this massive archway here over over the top of this channel which i think is a pretty cool little feature and as we fly through it you, you'll, you'll see it in a sec that this channel is full of sharks it's like the shark spawn has been turned right up to 11 on this one let some more there oh there's a stingray as well there's another shark and if we go into this little cove area here there's another shark and another shark and another shark and a bunch of ichthys as well which makes sense because sharks and ichthys kind of go hand in hand so yeah this isn't an awesome place to be either it's certainly not good for a dock not unless you can wall it off so yeah anyway like I was saying the island is small not featureless but small and really just is full of herbivores there's hardly any carnivores the ones that we have found are all small like no bigger than raptor size on the beach maybe a scorpion or two but that's about it so we're kind of happy here this is a really nice place to settle it's a good place to start if you're thinking about starting on the center this is a good island to start on but like i say there is another island to the south which to me when we've spawned there seems a lot more violent there's some carnitals there for sure and some much bigger predators some bears definitely um other than that we haven't really ventured onto the mainland other than in the race yesterday i hope you guys enjoyed the race actually i, I have no idea because it's not gone out yet but um we just wanted to do that as like a an introduction to the center and just as some joviality before we started off on our survival journey now like I say, we've got a long way to go with our survival. We're not going to slack on it. We've got a lot of leveling to do. So we're going to be sort of plowing ahead. As you can see, we've not got massive amounts of like awesome flak armor or anything like that. We're not high level yet. So we've got plenty to do. We're going to get a load of good tames on. Upgrade all of our machinery and weapons and stuff. And hopefully it's going to be an absolute adventure.
we're going to be so more so much more daring in this one though we're not just going to stick around on this island it's, it's just going to get boring i want to see what the center has to offer so hopefully you guys are going to join me for that if you like this video please click like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys see you soon